We on? Okay. All right, we're running? Yeah. All right, this is going to be the good, the bad, and the ugly on the 1976 Blazer that I've got for sale. Uh, it's a two-wheel drive, ZZ383 motor. Um, it's, got a, it's got rust. We're going to walk around. You see it's got some rust up in here, up in here. Now I've got, this is the, this is the original hard top. But I've also got the uh, brand new soft top that's never been put on it. Uh, it's sitting in the back of the blazer. Uh, it's an $850 soft top. Uh, you'll see tires all absolutely excellent condition. Uh, interior's good. Now you'll see there's rust down here on the on the edges. That's on that's on both sides. We're gonna walk around both sides. Uh, come on up. I'll show you the. Uh, tires. We've still got good chrome. Yeah, even though it hasn't been washed, you see good looking you know, beauty rings, all new uh, uh, rotors, pads, brake lines, everything. Everything's new on it. Uh, everything has got about 200 miles on it. I have not driven it. Uh, we're going to come around and see the front. You see the chrome. Brand new set of KC lights. All, all vintage looks good now this needs to be tightened up I hadn't taken the time to tighten it up and get it straight a little bumper I'll pop the hood here you see also a little patch of surface rust uh, I think a little patch of surface rust in a couple of places like I say right here we got um, now I've got a um, what's it called from interstate the batteries um, I get trying. Blim. Blim, okay. I've got, a, I've got a Blim battery, but it's a new battery in it. Uh, you'll see brand new motors, brand new hoses, uh, everything for the air conditioner. Now, the air conditioner, I don't have a, a compressor on it, but it's all set up for it. Like I say, headman headers, everything is first class all the way. Uh, you'll see the Holly uh, 650 double pumper on it. Um, amazingly, this thing, uh, if you... Uh, Drive it right. I mean, we're, we're, we're hitting 15 miles to the gallon. Now, it's, it's a, I believe, a 10 to 1 compression ratio. So it um, it does take uh, uh, the super gas. Premium. Premium gas. And uh, I have never run anything with uh, ethanol or methanol or anything. In it. It's always been straight gas. That's what it needs to stay on. Uh, brand new radiator. Like I said, all new hoses. All new everything. Uh, the master cylinder, brand new, like I say, all new brake lines. Uh, we got uh, brand new headlights. All the lights work properly. The uh, KCs will just blow you away. Bright, bright, bright. We're going to walk around. Any, uh, any rust on the hood or anything underneath, I think it looks pretty good. This is the original paint job, and you'll see that, you know, where it can, it shines pretty good. I haven't washed it, so we're coming around. Tires, again, good shape, good beauty rings. It needs the little center caps for the uh, Chevrolet on, the, on all four. I guess somebody stole them off of them. You see, uh, most of your trim is still here. Your emblems, your original chrome mirrors. Again, on this side, you see the rust here. And you can see the the size of the rust opposed to my hand. Doors open and close good. Again, you see the rust here on the on the plate. Now, again, I kept the uh, I went with the low car long shifter uh, so that it keeps the manual look. Now I still have the uh, the original manual shifter. I still have the Berg, Berg Warner uh, 465 uh, uh, three speed with the granny gear that will go with the truck also. Uh, you see the interior carpet, like I say, carpet needs to be replaced, dash pad needs to be replaced. Everything else is original. Seats are all original, still good covering. And I'm gonna pop it up here. And like I say, I haven't cleaned it out, so excuse me. I kind of pan through and see. Seats work good, back seat looks excellent. And you'll see the great thing about it, no headliner to worry about. Looks good. It's a beautiful truck. Now we're going to come around. Again, get 
back tire. See, it's a Cheyenne package that originally came with, uh, I think, a 454 and the, and the three speed with the granny gear. I've gone to the 383 with all the forged pistons, forged crank, whole nine yards, like I say, $10,000 motor sitting in it. You see the chrome tips. I got chrome tips on both sides. Coming back, you got to just the original uh, regular ball on it. Now, I have the handle to replace this handle that's broken. I just have not done it. Uh, window does operate well, needs some new rubber and all. But uh, you see the tips, you see the bumper. All the chrome looks really good. One little trim piece here that needs to be reattached. It's still there. All right. We're going to fire it up. Okay, now my, uh, my hands don't work real well, so what I've done is I installed a starter switch. So what you do is just two clicks forward, a little gas. Put one on it, I put a manual choke on it. You hear the motor running? 